Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where we like, where I like to <laughs> encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. So today I want to make, um, I guess what I'm calling it is a sidewalk chalk play pack for filler to send into the distribution center. I know that most of you are familiar with what a filler is in our community. But when we say filler, we don't mean extra things to put inside our boxes that we're packing together. What we mean is we're going to put something together to send to the distribution center so when boxes come in that maybe have things that need to come out, like shampoo bottles or mouthwash, um, we're able at the distribution center to put something else back in in its place. So I am making several of these play packs um, to go in as filler at the distribution center. <clears throat> I don't know if many of you are aware, but Walmart's summer toys are on clearance right now, like their jump ropes and their frisbees and their sidewalk chalk. I missed out on the jump ropes at my Walmart. Someone came in and snatched them up. I hope it was one of you. Uh, but the sidewalk chalk that is available right now, this was 50 cents for me. I've seen some people on Facebook say that they're getting them for as low as 10 cents. So it comes with 20 pieces of chalk. But the really cool thing about it is when you open it, <clears throat> here on top, can you see that each one, let me grab the one we'll, we'll be working with. We'll just grab this one. Each one is individually packaged. So I am able to get four play packs out of this set if I leave them packaged as they come. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could break these up even more um, and include them and make even more play sets if you wanted to. Uh, but I thought that this was a great amount of sidewalk chalk for that kiddo to use. So let's go ahead and get started and make a play pack today. I do have the camera a little further out so that hopefully you can see what's on my table here. <laughs> I don't know how successful it's going to be, but let's try to do this. Um, so to create this play pack, um, you're going to need a few things and we're going to go through them and put them together. But um, it's kind of up to you what you put in it. I just wanted to show you what I have put in mine. First, we're going to start with an A5 storage bag. Again, you don't have to find an A5, but just to tell you the dimensions that I'm using, these are 6.6 um, .6 inches wide or 170 millimeters, and they are 9.4 inches tall or uh, 240 millimeters. So I do get these at Daiso, and it comes 15 in a pack for $1.75, but you can also buy these online. You just wanna search for A5 storage bag. And this is something similar to this will pop up with these dimensions. Um, I find that these are great for larger play packs that I send in as filler. That's the main reason that I buy this size of zipper bag. Um, once we have our bag, the next thing you're going to need I don't want to say that because you're creating your bag however you create it. The next thing I'm going to use, that's how I'll say it, is this chalkboard. Now, I got these at Dollar Tree. I already took <clears throat> all the packaging off of them. I'm sorry. But these are just their um, green briar double-sided chalkboards. You can find them in the teacher section is where I get them. I took the packaging off of it. And we're just going to slide this guy right inside of our zipper bag. Look how perfectly sized it is. Perfect. And then <clears throat> this is what I have made as a chalkboard eraser. So you can buy really pretty, fancy, nice quality chalkboard erasers both at Dollar Tree and online. But this guys, this is just a in the auto department. It's called a chamois and it's really thick um, felt. There's two different kinds of chamois. There's the one at the Dollar Tree that they have in the plastic container and it's more like a PVC, like a rubberized chamois. This is the thick felt chamois. It comes in a huge, huge 
rectangle of fabric and I just cut them down to about a three by four um, square of felt. And this is the same thing on the end of those fancy erasers. It's the same fabric. I tested it, I double checked. This is just my solution. I can get about 20 out of that big piece of fabric. So I just buy one of those and cut them up and now the kiddo has an eraser to go with their sidewalk chalk. Now hopefully they have a place to play with this outside, but I'm just including the eraser and the chalkboard for fun in case they don't have a place to utilize the sidewalk chalk. And now we're just gonna drop this right inside of our little baggie, maybe. You know, I'm on camera, so it's not going to go smoothly and I'm gonna drop something. So that's just how it goes on camera. <laughs> So we're off to a great start. Now on the back, I like to fill it next. And I have included this notebook paper. It's lined, but the there it is. And it is just off one of those pads of paper. I ripped off several pieces and I'm ready to put it inside the baggie. I also took some pages out of one of these. Um, I got this at After Christmas Clearance at Dollar Tree for 50 cents, and there's so many pages in here. I've been able to make a lot of filler packs um, with these, so that is where I'm getting these color pages from. You could put this whole one in if you wanted to. Just make it a super duper filler pack. So I grabbed these two and I've put them, there's the coloring pages, and here's the lined pages. And I put them together so that the most graphic image shows on the back, just for a little bit of excitement. And then this is a really high quality um, adult coloring book page. It's like thick card stock, and I got these um, also after Christmas in a really large adult coloring book. And I was able to rip each page out, and I'm just including one of these because they're really, really thick. I mean, look, it's super thick. Um, one of these kind of like a poster in each box. So I just put this here too. And then the last thing I'm gonna put on the back is one of these stickers. I got these stickers in a pack of 50 from Oriental Trading. I wanna say for under $2 for sure. But um, I thought that they were gonna be able to fit into my small pencil packs, but they're a little bit larger, which is great. That means more fun for these kiddos. So you just have to be careful um, what size stickers you're purchasing and what size play pack or pencil pack that they will fit in. So here is what the back um, is gonna look like. Again, there's the sticker page, the coloring book pages, the notebook paper, and the folded up poster. I'm just gonna slide these all right in the back. There it goes, we're well on our way. The next side, I'm gonna kind of fill up sort of like a regular pencil pack. Um, but again, I got some of these. Let's see if it's gonna fall apart on me. Here we go. It says, Jesus is my jam. And it is actually a puzzle. Let's see if I can get, no, it's not gonna show up. But it is a color my own puzzle and I got a pack of 24 of these from, uh, not Oriental Trading, from Hobby Lobby for, I threw the little packaging away. But again, I think it was under $2. So I need to include something to color this really fun puzzle with. And here are these crayons. But I don't want the crayons to mark up the chalkboard inside the play pack. So I'm gonna use another bag, a bag inside of a bag. When I'm doing that, or putting a bag inside of our boxes, um, and I don't need it to be a reusable bag. Like it is just something to protect the integrity of the pack or the box. Um, I have started using these, let's see, which side is English? <laughs> okay, they're from Dollar Tree. They're the Sheer Fresh Fold Top Sandwich Packs. And the reason I did that is because see right there, there's 125 of these in this pack for $1.25, which makes them a penny each and they're gonna go so far. But guys, I got an even better deal because this package was sort of opened like that when I bought it. There's no way that anyone took any of the baggies out. 
but the perforation had already been opened. So I got it for 75 cents. See that sticker right there? I love the clearance at my Dollar Tree. So for 75 cents, I got 125 bags that I can use in our boxes. So I feel like you're so far away from me and I'm leaning in like, <laughs> oh, I don't like that you're so far away from me. But anyway, I'm just gonna take one of these baggies um, they're not really great quality. This is not reusable. Unfortunately, it is going to create trash for the kiddo that receives this. Um, but you know, some things just happen and this is just happening. And I'm doing this to protect the chalkboard inside of our play pack. So I'm gonna drop in this coloring, um, what's it called, puzzle. Drop that in right here. And then three crayons. So, um, here is another tip for you guys. These boxes here come with four, an opportunity to make four play packs if you do it the way I'm doing it. So I bought two play packs, sorry, I bought two boxes of chalk and that will create eight play packs. And the reason I like the number eight is because that divides into a box of crayons evenly so that each play pack can have three crayons which is like ideal for me i feel like two is too small and um three is just enough to be able to play and create a really fun image so in being able to create eight play packs i use one box of crayons and it just it breaks up evenly so here's his or hers three crayons that I'm gonna put into this little baggie. I'm gonna fold it up old school ways where you lift up that weird extra flap and fold it over. And then it is going to go right here on the top of our play pack. So there's the crayons, there's the puzzle, and here's the chalk. We're getting it going, we're getting it going. Next is a pen and this is a really fun colored pen it was actually contributed by Lynette and I believe that she got these at RaymondGettys.com so I know that um, Denise from D Rogers really loves um, Gettys too so you should check out RaymondGettys.com for some fun stuff for your play packs and for your boxes so I'll put that pin in right here let me just tidy this up a little bit. And then I also include two number two pencils. I actually got these at Walmart for 50 cents for a pack of like 24, I believe. That's the best price I've been able to find um, this season. And then I have two novelty pencils. You can find novelty pencils just about anywhere. Um, but these, this one here is actually an after Easter clearance. So I've been saving for this play pack all year long. Um, I know I look like the crazy lady after Easter when I was scooping up all of those pencils, but it is now very much worth it. And then this one is contributed by Lynette. It was a really cool website that she told me and it's, I can't, oof, I cannot remember what it is right now. Lynette, if you're watching, please comment below where you got all these really fun foiled pencils. Um, it, it's something like thepencilplace.com or the, the, pen, the pencil store. Is that it? Is it thepencilstore.com? I think so. Anyway, so two novelty pencils, two number two pencils, and two colored pencils. These are Pen and Gears colored pencils. And I really like the quality. I really like the quality of the pen and, gear, pen and gear colored pencils a lot better than their crayons. So yes, pro tip, these are good. Two, in the bag. That way they can color their little poster, their adult coloring book poster. And now um, next comes erasers. I got these erasers. They are little rainbows. And I got them from orientaltrading.com. They're teeny teeny tiny I mean I don't I can't even get close enough because you're so far away to show you the detail in these little rainbow erasers 
<clears throat> but what I like about them is I can kind of hook them together. Their little the scoop of the rainbow goes into the other one and I can just drop these in in pairs in all kinds of pencil packs. So they get two fun little erasers just to brighten their day. And then they're gonna get one of these um, let's see if I can show you this without dumping everything out. Can you see this? Yeah, right there. This is the Pen and Gear Ten Teacher Reward Eraser Package. And they have been on sale this season for like $4 for 100 really big, really good quality erasers. I mean, look at this. Look how many. Look how many I've gotten to use so far. I love them. These are great. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you've seen a lot of these, but if you only get your information from me and other ladies on YouTube, I recommend these. If they're still available in your Walmart, pick up one or two to make pencil packs all year long. And to fill your own shoe boxes, these are great. Look at those big vibrant colors. Can you see how vibrant they are? And they have blue, purple, pink, green, orange, and yellow up there. Really good. 100% would recommend it's going in our little play pack also pencil sharpeners um, I tested out the pencil sharpeners and for the price my favorite pencil sharpener are these little guys with the covers on them and you can get them either on Amazon or on Oriental Trading they're the same um, for they're 72 for about $10 depending on where you're buying them so if you have Amazon Prime and you want free shipping, just look up bulk um, pencil sharpeners. And these are the little ones that are 72 for $10. Excellent. I love them for my play packs that go in as filler. And that's it. We did it. That is what I have been putting in these little eight play packs that I'm making. I just kind of wanted to show you something that you can do, an idea to utilize these amazing sidewalk chalks that are on sale for 50 to 10 cents and how you can make an entire play pack out of them. So um, other ideas that you could put in here that I had at my hands reach, there's tons of things you could put in these packs because these zipper bags, See, this is what it looks like with just the chalkboard in it. They're huge. And so you can fill this with anything. You could put a um, TY plush stuffy in here, a little beanie baby. You could fit um, a bouncy ball in here, um, yo-yos or all kinds of things. But at my arm's reach, I also have these really fun um, packs of notebooks. They're little spiral notebooks fit in here. These are from Playside Creations at Hobby Lobby or these really fun tracing stencils that you can get for 10 for a dollar at Walmart in the party pack section. Um, all kinds of things can go in these fun packs. I just kind of wanted to give you some ideas, hopefully inspire you to run out and pick up some sidewalk chalk and make your own kind of creations. If you do this, please let me know. I want to know what else you're putting in your play packs. Um, I will be making a video, hopefully sometime soon, about pencil packs. Um, the ones that I put in my boxes and maybe a different sizes that I put in as filler. So, stay tuned if that is something you're interested in is regular pencil packs um, instead of just these chalk play packs. So, that's it for today. I really hope you're having a fantastic Sunday and I will see you next time. In case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye!